scientists are trying hard to discover evidence of life out there in the vastness of space. Over the last few years, we've been making some breakthroughs in our solar system. Recently, we discovered that Mars once had water on it. Due to this discovery, various robots have been sent to the Red Planet to explore its climate and surroundings. The exploration of space is extremely important for our existence. With enough knowledge and technology out there, we could actually travel through space and live on certain planets in the near future. Recently, scientists have come forward and announced that a mysterious radio signal has caught their attention. This is because the signal has made itself known for the fifth year in a row. What's so mysterious about these signals is that usually we're not able to track them, but the team behind this study has managed to track this signal to a spiral galaxy. The galaxy in question is said to be over 495 million light years from our planet, and that it's most likely linked to the mysterious fast radio bursts that have confused researchers for years. One of the astronomers who's been working on the case said the following about the signal's discovery. This object's location is radically different from that of not only the previously located repeating fast radio bursts, but also all previously studied fast radio bursts. This blurs the difference between repeating and non-repeating fast radio bursts. It may be that FRBs are produced in a large zoo of locations across the universe, and just require some specific conditions to be visible. This has caused some people to put forward the idea that these signals are being sent out by other civilizations. Although this sounds like an out there theory, this is very possible, with scientists even coming forward and saying that it can't be ruled out. One of these that's confused scientists is that of FRB 121102. Something somewhere deep in the vastness of space is a mysterious object that continues to throw extremely large blasts of radio waves out from around it. Not only this, but it does it in all directions and travelling at the speed of light. Fast radio bursts referred to as FRBs have always been a mystery for astronomers and scientists in the field trying to understand the strange nature of the cosmos and appear to be caused by super-dense pulsars that litter the galaxy, and are the result of a collapsed and dying star. But oddly enough, there appeared to be a fast radio burst that did not seem to match the FRBs of previous pulsar data collection, leading many to believe the strange anomaly was actually that of an extraterrestrial civilization. This FRB is known as FRB 121102, and despite being more than 3 billion light years away, has consistently sent more than 15 steady FRBs towards our planet. Currently, the SETI project is working to detect the next radio burst to try and decipher if it has an alien meaning, as previous data shows it's far too consistent and repetitive to be a standard pulsar. Interestingly, most of these signals have only been a one-off, but this one keeps trying to make itself known, and researchers are aware that it could be trying to get our attention. One of these signals was tracked by the Chimney Experiment in Canada. Researchers here managed to pick up on eight new fast radio bursts. A worldwide team discovered four more FRBs and was able to track them to a spiral galaxy called SDSSJ 0158002 plus 6542530. Incredibly, one of these fast radio bursts was over 3 billion light years away. To put that into perspective, our galaxy is 100,000 light years in diameter, and contains over 100 billion planets. One of the astronomers said the following, The multiple flashes that we witnessed in the first repeating FRB arose from very peculiar and extreme conditions inside a very tiny galaxy. This discovery represented the first piece of the puzzle, but it also raised more questions than it solved such as whether there was a fundamental difference between repeating and non-repeating FRBs. As of today, these fast radio bursts still remain a mystery. The research was published in the scientific journal Nature. Interestingly, this reminded some people of a mysterious signal that was discovered a while back. Going back a few years ago, researchers managed to discover a radio signal. However, at the time it was causing a lot of confusion as it couldn't be located. It was found by a large radio telescope in Australia known as the DISH. 
his telescope kept picking up on the strange interference in which the researchers couldn't explain. No one knew where it was coming from or what was making them. It wasn't until 17 years later that the astronomers got their answers. One of the first theories that was put forward was that these signals were coming from a local lightning strike. This theory was quickly put to rest when they received the interference when there was no lightning strike. Almost two decades and spending countless hours to try and figure out where the anomaly was coming from, they finally figured it out. Turns out what the astronomers were hearing wasn't anything impressive, and was in fact coming from very close by. The culprit was a microwave oven. One of the reasons it confused them so much is that the dish only picked up on the microwave when it was pointed directly at it, except from that it wasn't detecting the microwave. As anticlimactic as it was, there are still anomalies that have been picked up that are still waiting to be explained. Another interesting discovery has come from the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. NASA announced they were able to capture an incredible insight into our local galactic neighbourhood. The images that were taken were able to give us an insight into the Milky Way's interior, and showed the researchers the swirling gases that make up this impressive galaxy. One of the most impressive things it was able to pick up on was that of Sagittarius A. In particular, something the researchers named the Ring of Debris Feeding Sagittarius A. The original estimates placed this supermassive black hole referred to as Sagittarius A for residing at the Sagittarius constellation, as being no more than 4 million times the mass of our Sun, much smaller than previously discovered black holes. However, when measurements and estimates were taken again, Researchers realised it was not just one of these supermassive black holes, but dozens of these large celestial bodies in orbit are moving around each other. When researchers attempted to take clearer images, it was soon revealed there was more than several thousand of these large supermassive black holes at the centre of our Milky Way galaxy, some rivalling in size some of the largest celestial bodies ever witnessed before. It appears then that our galaxy rivals size with quantity when it comes to the singularities moving through our galaxy, and that many more are predicted to be flying around at light speed or throughout our galactic cluster, impossible to detect and more than capable of swallowing stars in less than a second. Today, more and more estimates show that our original assumption was vastly incorrect. It could very well be that there are more than 10,000 supermassive black holes located at the centre of our galaxy with many more joining the group as they continue to fall inward at light speed, and forming under the crushing weight of our galactic forces. NASA had this to say about the discovery. Scientists can also more clearly see the material that may be feeding the ring around our galaxy's central supermassive black hole. The ring is around 10 light years in diameter, and plays a key role in bringing matter closer to the black hole, where it may eventually be devoured. The origin of this ring has long been a puzzle for scientists because it may be depleted over time, but the SOFIA data revealed several structures which could represent material being incorporated into it. Interestingly, the WOW signal is said to have come from this region of space. On the 15th of August in 1977, a 72-second long transmission was captured while the Big Ear telescope was pointed towards the constellation Sagittarius and it bore the expected hallmarks of extraterrestrial origin. In fact, prior to this event back in 1959, researchers put forward the theory that if extraterrestrial contact was ever made, it would most likely be in that of a radio wave frequency of 1420 MHz, which is the frequency naturally emitted by hydrogen, the most common element in the universe, and therefore likely familiar to all technologically advanced civilizations. Oddly enough, the 72 second long transmission was exactly within the 1420 MHz frequency, with peaks and lows exactly equal to each other in variation, showing not only was this a mathematically symmetrical frequency, but that there was no possible way this frequency could have a non-artificial origin. This 72 second transmission was then given the title of the WOW signal, which was named after the lead researcher who discovered the signal in the data and wrote the small side note of WOW. Skeptics and researchers to this day have had massive difficulty trying to explain away what the signal could have been from, 
and so it could very well be that on a lonely planet out in the Sagittarius constellation, we heard the radio signal of a greeting more than 25,000 light years away. So what do you make of these incredible space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.